Good evening and a welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School and the City of Champions for this BCA Sports presentation of Brockton Lady Boxers Basketball tonight. The Lady Boxers welcome in the Quincy Presidents to the campus of Brockton High. My name is Peter Zimbel. I will have the call of tonight's game solo. Brockton is wearing their white jerseys. Quincy wearing the blue jerseys. Brockton comes into this game with an impressive record of five wins against one loss. Quincy with a sub-500 record of one win against three losses. We're playing four eight-minute quarters here in a high school Division I women's basketball. 7.45 left to go here in the first quarter, and Brockton and Quincy is scoreless here at Staff Gymnasium. Brockton looking to make it a three-party early on. No good. Rebounded by the boxers back outside. We saw a lot of three-point shots in the JV game, which preceded this one for the live audience here at Staff Gymnasium. On the inside for the Brockton Lady Boxers, that is number 35, Aliyah Brito. And with that, Brockton draws first blood. They lead 2-0 with 7.17 left to go in the first quarter. Whistle. And that is going to be a personal foul against Leah Brito for Brockton. So Quincy, not in the act of shooting as that foul was committed, will inbound from down low. Brockton and Quincy, two cities south of Boston. Quincy just slightly south of Boston, bordering Boston, as a matter of fact. And Brockton falls almost precisely between Boston and Providence. So two big cities south of Boston and north of Providence between Brockton and Quincy here tonight at Staff Museum. From the outside for Quincy, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Boxers. That is number four coming down with it. Giannisha Silvermore with the rebound. Silvermore looks around her options. Gets it over to Jelani Jackson. Jelani Jackson over to number 22. Tatiana Diaz attempts the three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by the Quincy Presidents. That is number 20. Caroline McBride on the rebound for the Presidents. Laying in for Quincy, down low is number three. I take that back, number five, Alyssa Lydon. So that ties the game at two, 6-12 left to go in the first quarter between Brockton and Quincy. It was in the town of Quincy, or the city of Quincy, I should say, that Brockton Athletics Saw the scene of one of its biggest accomplishments over the past decade, the 2005 Super Bowl championship game where Brockton defeated Everett was played in Quincy. That predated the days where MIAA Super Bowl games were played at Gillette Stadium. And this year, Gillette Stadium hosting not just the Eastern Mass Super Bowls, but state Super Bowl games, it was just an absolute madhouse at Gillette Stadium and a madhouse in the most positive sense of the term as we've got a carry travel called against Quincy and that turns the ball over to Brock. And 5.55 left to go in the first quarter. We are tied up at two here at Staff Gymnasium. This game between Brockton and Quincy in which you watch was originally scheduled to have taken place on the 30th of December. However, the game was postponed Excuse me, the 17th of December. The game was postponed until tonight. As both teams fitted into their respective schedules. There's a foul called against number 25 for Quincy, and that being Kaylin Chapel. And Brockman goes to the line. And getting the job done at the free throw line is Jelani Jackson. She goes two for two at the free throw line, and Lady Boxers lead four to two, five forty now, remaining in the first quarter here at Staff Gymnasium between the Boxers and the Presidents. Down low, Caroline McBride for Quincy. That ties the game back up at four, five nineteen to go here in the first quarter. Rito with the rebound for Brockton, no good. Rebound this time by Quincy, number 31 with the rebound, Gabriel Jarrett.
This foul was called against Brockton, number 24, Catherine Lewis. And with that, Quincy heads the free throw line and at the line, able to take their first lead of the game as Kayla McCarroll makes it 5-4. She hits her first of two free throw shots, her second of two off the back of the rim, no good. But a one point edge for Quincy with now less than five minutes remaining in the first quarter. Rito inside the paint, no good. Rebound by Brockton for three this time, no good. And got a rebound and a whistle. <coughs> Foul called against Brockton. Getting called for a push for the Lady Boxers. Might have been Jelani Jackson. Tatiana Diaz with the ball for the boxers. Goes to lay it up, no good, gets wrong rebound. One bounce, to shoot to the outside. And taking it inside on her own for Brockton is Jelani Jackson. And Brockton retakes the lead six to five with four or two left to go now in the first quarter. Tatiana Diaz bringing down the ball for the boxers. Gives it over to teammate Jelani Jackson. Silver Moore inside the paint, and she's going to drop foul. They say while well, in the act of shooting, so she'll have the free throw line to shoot too. And that is going to be called against Quincy's number 31, Gabriella Jarahian. 3.24 left to go in the first quarter. 8 to 5 as you score boxes on top. We'll make that 9 to 5. That's Janisha Silvermore. It's a free throw shot with an opportunity for Brockton to have twice the amount of points as Quincy. Silvermore to lens shoot and connects. 10 5 Brockton. Nearly a shot clock violation against the president. Brock can bring the ball down the floor. Diaz. Thought it would take it inside, outside. Janisha Silver Moore takes it in and lays it in. 15. 12 to 5 is your score for Brockton. 225 left to go in the first quarter. We've got a timeout called on the floor. 2.11 left to go 
in the first quarter. That timeout called by Quincy. So Brockton leads the Quincy Presidents by a score of 12 to 5 with 2 minutes and 11 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Here at Stab Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions. Peter Zimbor here calling the action solo tonight. Joined by my worthy colleague and cameraman Mike Simmons bringing you the sights and sounds and what you see on your screen. She's clearly pushed. That is Alyssa Kamara. Cuts the deficit. <laughs> Cuts the deficit to 12 to 7. Brock is still on top of the buck. 49 left to go in the first. here right now we might bark and give her newbie credit against Quincy's number 34, Courtney Ryan. Ball. 
So it's 23.8 seconds left to go now. Foul called against Brockton. And this is going to send, excuse me, against Quincy. This is going to send the boxers to the free throw line. Brockton Z has no surprise. One of the team's best shooters getting a jet job done at the free throw line. Just over seven seconds to go here in the first quarter. comes to a conclusion and Brockton has the lead 13 to 8. Second quarter about to begin momentarily between Brockton and Quincy. Once again, if you're just joining us, you're watching BCA Sports coverage of Brockton Lady Boxers basketball for Brockton, 15-8. Wow. 
Tatiana Diaz knocks the ball loose, scrambling for the ball. Tatiana Diaz ends up with the ball to Brockton. And in that kind of a bucket, she's going to draw a foul, however, should have wanted to shoot two. Tatiana Diaz usually lights up the free throw line. The last time we saw her at the free throw line, the BCA broadcast did find some resilience. Quincy at the free throw line. seconds left to go in the first half. 17 to 10 is your score, Brockton on top. Tatiana Diaz tries to bring her home to Nero Vale. Two on one situation for Lindsay. Unable to punctuate any points. Number 24 for Quincy. McArdle. Timeout called by Brockton with 428 to go in the first half. They lead. This thin Lily's Tom Morello like band. 17 to 12.
16 to 12, just over four minutes to go here in the first half. Down low and open for Quincy. That is number 31, Gabriel Jarahim. Five point game, 19 to 14. Trade that defense, however. Tiana Diaz inside the paint, picks it up, no good. the free throw line. Two minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the half. Brockton with the edge by four points, 20 to 16. You're watching Brockton Community Access Sports. Maybe the five point lead for Brockton. He's getting an inch or so a door extended the lead out of the free throw line.
good attempt by Brock and no good rebounded by Quincy. Should jump around the presidents, no good rebound by Brock. And this is all we're meant to go now in the first half. Brock can extend upon their lead. 23-16. Less than a minute to go here in the first half. Six seconds to go here in the half. Senior score block from the top 10 seconds to go now here in the first half. Quincy trying to get some offense off before the bubble sounds to signify the conclusion of the first half of play. One second, she blocks it up, nothing. So through one half of play, Brock with an 80 point lead, 24 to 16 is your score. You're watching BCA Sports, Brock and Lindsay over Brainery. Stay with us, we'll be back with second half action after this. And we're back here at Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Brockton Lady Boxers and the Quincy Presidents. Lady Boxers lead Quincy 24 to 16 as Quincy inbounds the ball to begin the second half here at Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the city of champions, Brockton, Massachusetts. My name is Peter Zimbor. Still here with you calling the action of this game solo. Lee Boxers with a busy week as tomorrow. This game is being taped on Monday, January the 6th. Tomorrow, Tuesday, January the 7th, they host the Barnstable here at Staff Gymnasium. Then later on this week, they travel to Fall River to take on big three divisional rivals, Durfee. That a shot clock violation? It appears to be. Well, no, there was actually a foul committed before that. So Brockton heads to the free throw line. Foul called against number 25 for the Quincy presidents. That being Kaylin Chapel. And she enters some the mortal line, hits her first of two. So Brockton now up by nine points, 25 to 16. I'm gonna make that 10. Oh. 
Rebound by Quincy. Down low for the Presidents, laying it in is number 25, Kalen Chapel. 28-18, Brockton leads by 10 with 6.09 left to go in the third quarter. And laying it in for Quincy that time around is number 24, Kayla McArdle, the co-captain. Make the score 28-20 at Brockton on top and make it 30-20 as that is number 35 for the Lady Boxers, Aliyah Brito. To look down this Brockton Boxers roster, simply one senior on the team. And that senior is listed as number 22, Tatiana Diaz. However, I'm not so sure she is a senior. I thought she was a junior, but I guess I could be wrong. Injured Quincy player down on the floor. <laughs> Interestingly, I just saw a Brockton trainer Jerry Connor make her way into the gymnasium. And while the coach for Quincy tends to his fallen player, Jerry Connor makes her way onto the floor. Five minutes and 10 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Procton with the lead 30 to 20 over the Quincy Presidents. And the Quincy player that is being tended to on the floor is number five, Alyssa Lydon. And she receives an ovation as she makes her way to her feet. She's not putting any pressure on her right leg as she comes off the floor. And that is a right leg that is already in a knee brace. So we hope that Alyssa Lydon is okay. So a bit of a break in the action here in the third quarter. Both teams receive a bit of a reprieve.
So Quincy inbound the ball from down low, deflected out of bounds. Off of Quincy, they say, so it'll be Brockton ball. So Brockton inbounds it to the top of the key. Jelani Jackson with the ball for the boxes. This should have a silver more stolen by number 21 for Quincy, that being Jillian Mulvaney. So Quincy getting the job done at the free throw line. 4.21 left to go in the third quarter. Rockman leads by nine, 30 to 21. Diaz launches it, no good. Tatiana Diaz came to the Brock Lindy Boxers originally as a member of the Southeastern Hawks from Southeastern Vocational, South, South, Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School. However, transferred from Southeastern to Brockton High at the beginning of last year and went from playing in a Division IV program to a Division I program as far as basketball is concerned. Traveling. Called against the Presidents. more at the free throw line for Brockton. Silver Moore no good at the free throw line. Quincy gets the rebound. Bounds off Quincy Brockton ball. Head coach for Quincy looking for a personal foul against Tatum Diaz, but to no avail. Hey, 
Silver more from the outside, no good. Brock with the rebound to Leah Brito. Off the glass, no good. Brock with the rebound again, not for no good. Rebound again, back to the outside. Aliyah, excuse me, Tatiana Diaz is going to be fouled. Less than three minutes to go here in the third quarter. It is Rio at the free throw line. Excuse me, Tatiana Diaz. Suddenly I'm getting Tatiana Diaz and Leah Brito mixed up here in the second half. I don't know why. He heads the hole for Quincy is numero 21, Jillian Mulvaney, and she'll head the free throw line. Score still 30 to 21. Brockton on top. Two minutes and 52 seconds left to go in the third quarter. fans in the stands have noticed. We mentioned at the top of the broadcast, both teams hailing from cities south of Boston. Not too far from each other in terms of proximity. Without traffic, you can get to Quincy in 10, 15 minutes. Of course, Quincy named after President John Quincy Adams. Buck 54 to go here in the third. 30 to 22 is your score. Brockton has not scored in quite some time here in the second half. And then again, Quincy hasn't done too much either. Brito can turn around off the glass and in draws the foul count of the bucket and one. Aliyah Brito heads to the free throw line. 32-22 Brockton up by 10 with a minute 37 left to go in the third. An opportunity for them to make it 11 pending the outcome of this Aliyah Brito reserve shot. And she misses. Rebounding by number 14 from Brock and Nadia Montero. Laying it in for Quincy, number 24. Kayla McArdle, the co-captain. She's a co-captain along with number five, Alyssa Lydon. We're all the seniors on this president's squad. 
Tatiana Diaz, the free throw line for Brock. And I asked this question to my cameraman, Mike Simmons, tonight. Do you remember the rock band, the Presidents of the United States of America? They had two big hits. She's Lump and Peaches. Peaches come from a can. They were put there by a man in a factory downtown. It's poetry, my friend. Boxers up by 11. 33 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Steal by Brockton. Leah Brito stops props. No good. Rebounded by Quincy. Number 21, Jillian Mulvaney. Nine point game, five seconds to go. And timeout calls by Quincy, but before he could call a timeout, apparently the referee called the jump ball. 3.5 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Third quarter concludes. Brockton leads by 9, 35 to 26. You're watching BCA Sports. Peter Zimmer calling the action. Brockton taking on the Quincy Presidents. Well, I've got an opportunity. We'd like to thank our crew tonight, our cameraman bringing you the sights and sounds in which you see on your screen, none other than Mike Simmons. Also, perhaps the editor of this event. And he nods his head, yes, he is. He's a jack of all trades in relation to this production, you see. I can even put him on the mic so he can give himself a commentating credit. Mike, would you like to comment on that? I think I'm all set with that. Says he's all set with that, but he did talk, so commentator credit, uh, add that one in. Graphics guy, add that in. Oh, wait, he's the graphics guy as well. Someone's got to do it, folks. And that's someone in this case is Mike Simmons. Fourth quarter begins. <coughs> Wednesday, no pushover. Brock with the lead, however, 35-28. We get a football score right now. It's a five touchdown, a four touchdown game. 7.38 left to go in the game. Speaking of football, big NFL divisional playoff weekend forthcoming. The New England Patriots will be hosting the Indianapolis Colts at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. 
on the AFC side of the coin and the San Diego Chargers will be taking on the Denver Broncos at Mile High Stadium in Denver. The winners of those two, game, of those two games meet each other in the AFC Championship game. Now, if you're the folks at the NFL offices in New York, Mike Simmons, you're just praying that Denver wins. Because if Denver wins, where they go up against the Patriots or the Colts, there's just such huge gargantuan storylines going into both games as Quincy cuts the deficit to five. The old Jill will call against Brockton. Those are against Br uh, Quincy now. Almost at Braintree. 36 to 30, excuse me, it's a six point lead. So the reason why the NFL offices would want Denver to win is because if Denver wins, they're gonna play either the Patriots or the Colts. If they play the Colts, well, Peyton Manning up against his former team, where the stakes are at their highest. Winner moves on, loser goes home. If it's the Patriots, whom the Broncos play, people seem to really enjoy Broncos, Patriots, Manning and Brady Bowles. And we saw a classic earlier this year on Sunday Night Football. Well, Brady had to come from behind and pull off a miraculous Patriots win. So it's either Payton versus old team or Payton versus Brady. The only wrench that can be thrown in this situation is if the Seahawks win. So we get bonus situations pretty much from here on out. 6.56 left to go in the game. Brockton up by 6.36 to 30, and it's Silver Moore for the boxes at the line. Next one, she will get another. No good. Rebounded by Quincy. Jump ball. Brockton. That was Brito. Going back down the other way for Quincy, however, is number 31, Gabriella Jure Harrigan. So Brockton leads 39 32, six minutes to go in the game.
Silva Moore from outside, no good, gets her rebound, puts it back up, no good. We've got a whistle. And that's going to be a foul against Aliyah Brito for the boxers. 41-32, Brock on top, 525 left to go in this game. Jackson Mason. As I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, not only is there a healthy contingent of Brockton fans here in the home court, but some support for Quincy as well. Particularly from their JV squad, who played Brockton's JV squad just prior to this game for the live audience here at Staff Gymnasium. Silver Moore off the glass and in for Brockton. 43-32, Brockton back up to a double-digit lead. 11 point edge boxers. Gabriella Jarahan. called against Brockton's number 14. Nadia Montero. I like saying that name, Nadia Montero. against Brock and Nadia Montero once again. Four personal fouls against Nadia Montero in this game. And this sends another Quincy player to the free throw line. Oh, 
2.50 left to go in this game. Brockton leads 45 to 37. So another free throw shot opportunity for the Presidents. How many Presidents from Quincy? Sean Quincy Adams, of course. John Adams, Samuel Adams. Timeout called by Coenzi. 48-37 Brockton on top. A minute 26 left to go in this game. This potentially one of our Cameron Mike Simmons final ENG basketball shoots. As he will be departing for the sunshine state of Florida in mid to late February. We wish him well in his ventures in Florida. Hoping to get some sun. Deanna Diaz with the ball for the boxers. 
And that ball sails out of bounds. They're going to say she was fouled. They're going to say she was. I think these officials are a little foul happy tonight. Nevertheless, Tatiana Diaz will take the free throw shots. to go in this game. Three-pointer by Quincy, no good, rebounded by Brockton. 44 seconds on the clock. Brockton is passing the ball all around and foul committed by Quincy. Brockton gonna head the free throw line with 38.2 seconds to go. Brockton leads 48 to 40. seconds to go. Timeout called by the Quincy bench. Six point game, 49-43 Brockton, 25.9 seconds to go here at Staff Gymnasium. seconds to go. Brock inbounds the ball and very quickly as you'd expect Braintree is going to need to foul and they do. Quincy. Braintree and Quincy have similar looking uniforms. So the southeastern region with these blue ones. Playing Quincy. Quincy. Once I had a guy from Alabama point out that he says Quincy. Quincy. When he looks at the sign. But everyone around here says Quincy. Quincy? Quincy. So it's Quincy, man. I'm going to tell you. Oh, 
And more free throw opportunities for Brockton, 14.1 seconds to go. Moore at the line, extending Brockton's lead 51 43. Three point attempt by Quincy, no good. Rebound by Brockton. And another foul by Quincy, this time with 4.5 seconds to go. And defeats Quincy by a score of 52 to 43. Brockton's record improves to six wins with one loss. Quincy falls to one win against four losses. You've been watching Brockton Community Access Sports. That does it for us here at BCA tonight. Brockton defeats Quincy. We'll see you next time.